start with your thoughts on this weekend's match against San Diego Wave FC. Yeah, I think it's a really exciting year to have two expansion teams. I think San Diego and LA have done so well to really bring um, great attention to, to the league um, and to what we're trying to do here in the NWSL. So I'm really looking forward to another opportunity to, to work on us, the Portland Thorns, but also to, to meet this new team that's just been added to the league. All right, we will start questions off with Grant Little from Stumptown Footy. Hey, Rian, thanks for taking the time. I was wondering if you could just give us your thoughts after the first game on what it was like to coach the Thorns in the official match and how that went for you. And also, if you could give us an update on Rocky and Poe, who I know had knocks headed into the match. Yeah, thanks, Grant. Um, I feel like the preseason tournament games with the uh, the great fan support we have here felt like official games. So that was that was great for me, but also the team to feel like we'd gotten the season started before the actual first game against the the rain in Seattle. Um, I would have. I, I'm sure that Seattle walked away frustrated that they didn't win the game. And I think I'm, I speak for the team when we walked away frustrated that I don't think we were able to really show who we are as a team, um, which is great. I mean, uh, winning teams come away with a point um, in a game where I don't think we were at our best and that's okay. We're still growing. And I think the team did really well to stay on task, to stay committed. Uh, we took away a lot of high percentage chances from them. We just didn't create enough for ourselves. So uh, walked away really, really uh, happy with a lot of the, the pieces of the performance, but definitely a little bit um, wanting to see more from, from our players and what I know we can do. Next, we'll go to Melina Gasparo, Football Ace. Hi, Coach. Thank you for your time. Um, so since the Thorns are going against a team that has only played once this year, at least officially speaking, what are the challenges of preparing for such a match? Thank you. Thanks, Melina. Uh, sorry, I just realized I didn't finish Grant's question. Um, yes. So Rocky Rodriguez and uh, Pogarch, Madison Pogarch, are, are both recovering really well. Their return to play is going really well. Um, they uh, may be questionable for the next game in terms of rostering, but uh, definitely looking for two, 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 in two games time um, to see them uh, rostered and ready to play. So sorry about that, Grant. I forgot to, to finish that question. Um, Melina, uh, I think both San Diego and LA have um, done a really good job of getting really high quality teams together. Um, but I also have heard, and I'm sure that it's it's just trying to get all the logistics together. And so even though they, they've only had one official game, I know that they've played a number of unofficial exhibition games. I think they've tried really hard to make sure that their team is ready and that they've had some quality minutes playing together. So they may have only had one game, but I, I'm sure Jill Ellis um, and Casey Stoney, phenomenal coach, um, as well as the LA organization have done all their due diligence to make sure that their team is ready to go and that it's uh, they they probably feel like they've had a little bit more experience than just the single game in the challenge cup so far we'll go back to grant little great obviously it was just the first game but it seemed as though the thorns struggled a little bit to get numbers into the attack and provide some support to sophia smith who is up there kind of on an island at times. I was wondering how the Thorns will try and adjust headed into the match against San Diego. Yeah, well, I, I, I know it's a rivalry and I want to beat Seattle as much as anyone else. They, they played well. Um, they pressed us all game long. Sophia Smith is one of the most dynamic athletes I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Um, and if Sophia wants to go on transition, she will often be on her own. There were not many players that will be able to keep up with her, and she knows that. Um, I think part of what we need to do is balance transition with keeping the ball and bringing players into the game. Um, and that's something for us as a team to work together, but also it's part of Sophia's growth. Um, she is so good that often she does go 1v4 and she has success with it, um, but understanding that it will take a second for the team to join her in those transition moments. So we've got to find that balance where we don't take away these incredible qualities she has, um, but also recognize the moments where it's not on and we've got to keep it as a team and, and build uh, more high quality opportunities around the opposition final third. Go back to Melina Gaspar. <laughs> sorry coach um so uh the thorns are the defending champions here 
but San Diego, like you said, uh, has been doing an amazing job to be prepared for this Challenge Cup as well. Uh, so um, what do you think about pressure? Do you think the pressure will be on, on your team or on San Diego that also are going to be uh, playing at, at their uh, stadium? Thank you. In professional sports, there's pressure everywhere. That's why these players want to be professional athletes. A lot of very good players quit before they become professional because they can't handle it. So there's definitely pressure on our team. There always will be. Um, this is a huge organization that's had um, success throughout its, uh, its lifespan, the Thorns. So always pressure on us. But of course, San Diego is in front of a, their home crowd again, and um, they're expected to do good things. They've, they've got some fantastic backing. Um, and there's been investment put in there. So they, they will also be feeling it. Um, you know, two of our former players are starting for them, um, which is just a recognition that when you get expansion teams, they look at, at programs or clubs like the Thorns to, to look for quality players. And in that way, we've had a challenging um, off season in terms of a coaching change from a very, very good coach in Mark Parsons, who um, was had incredible success here, a, a GM that's been brought in, players have left. Um, we've had Hina obviously coming in, but it, it's been a challenging off season. So for us, this is a very different type of team than last year. And there's a new pressure with that as well. Uh, you will recognize a new structure, um, but a, a new coach is, is a is a big change for them. Um, so that also brings in a new pressure, but every team will have that. You cannot hide from pressure and it's a team that handles it the best that usually wins. So um, another good opportunity for this team to continue to grow together and me to grow with them. We're gonna do last question from Grant Little. Last one, I promise. Uh, okay. we, just, we just heard from Emily and she said there were a lot of how you said growing moments, which I like that phrasing, but what are some of the things that you're looking at grow, those growing moments heading into this next game, not necessarily full season kind of growing moments, but game by game growing moments where you're looking at things against San Diego now? Well, every game, whatever the opposition is, has got to be an opportunity for us to get extra reps at things that they've just learned this season. Um, and is a wonderful example of, of someone who's playing in a different position than they're used to. Yes, it's center back, but it animates very differently than it did last year. And it really is a special group of players like an M who are just like, yeah, it's really hard. And we're going to keep, keep getting better at it, keep working at it. You talked about Sophia Smith and her dynamism. And yeah, it does feel like an island if that woman chooses to, to get on the ball and run at the opposition net. She is almost un unstoppable, but she is so quick and so fast that we've got to work at those moments are like, we never want to coach that out of a player. Absolutely not. She's lethal, but also understanding as a young player that when you do take those opportunities to go at the opposition net, people can't join you, join you for a heartbeat. They literally are not fast enough. So you've got to try and balance those moments. And that is actually a growing opportunity for the team, but it's actually a maturing moment for Sophia as well. She has to understand those moments that, okay, I need to get our breath back as a team. I need to keep the ball um, or play someone in so that she can find those spaces in behind that have closed up. Because if you're a back line with Sophia Smith running at you, you're probably going to drop pretty quickly. 